Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your friend Bradams, and today we will be going over how to get more wins in Fortnite Chapter 2. Let's get into it. In Fortnite Season X, I was averaging 2 wins every month. Unbelievable, right? Wow, how much of a bot do you have to be to do that? Well, right here in Chapter 2, I turn that around. I am now winning every single day. At least one win. Alright, so you can take this advice from me or not. Before we get into it, I need to discuss the fundamentals of every game you play. The drop. Early game, mid game, end game, and RNG. Also, you need to be asking yourselves very important questions. Such as, is this going to be a hot drop? Do I know this location good enough to be able to get out if I'm in a hurry? Will rotating early or not get me storm pushed? Or will it increase my chances of winning the game? Questions like these will increase your game sense and knowledge and will eventually lead you to more wins every day. The drop is very important. Knowing where to drop is key. Practice dropping in playgrounds so you know where all the chest locations and loot are and how to get out if you are in a very bad situation. We see the river as a perfect point in the map to get a perfect landing. It's really low to the ground, making me get to the chest faster. Here is where your landing location's knowledge comes into play. I have been practicing landing on this little island for a long time. I know that there are three buildings with a connection between two of them. I know there are a total of nine chests here. There are four in the big house, three in the smaller house, and then two in the little shack. I see that the two main houses with the connection in between them are very, very populated. So I'm going to go ahead and fly over to this little shack over here, giving me two chests. First one includes a nice green burst and a big shield. Pick up that little pistol there. Open up the next one, get another shield with a tactical shock, and this giving me a wonderful shotgun to start out. Now that I have the green tech, I feel comfortable enough to go out and try and figure out where everybody else is. I see that the top of the small building has not been broken in yet, but I see many building placements. I hear some fighting, so I go ahead and open this up here, knowing that they are underneath here, because I hear the chest open. I easily pull up the double edit, go for the edit again, see him, bam, bam, nice easy two shot there for the kill. Now that I have done looted the entire place, knowing that there's nobody else here, I go ahead and exit out. Oh no, here comes somebody right here, so I'm going to go ahead and instantly ramp brush up, just to notice, oh, it's just a bot. So I go ahead for that easy no scope. Mid game starts when you are done with the initial looting and go to farming mats and kills. Here you see the mid game perfectly layout. I'm finally being able to farm up some wood in my own little peaceful time. You know, getting all that max wood, some max brick. When all of a sudden I hear two people fighting and I see some buildings. So I go ahead and scope it out real quick, trying to see if I want to take this fight. I see the one guy right there running around, and I'm like, yep, we're going to take this fight right here. And then I see the second guy pull out, and I'm like, perfect, third party. So I want to go ahead and try and put my shots right here. Unfortunately, can't land any of them. Can't land any on him either. So I'm going to go ahead, RPG it. Reload my RPG. And then you're going to see me go over here and pop, taking down one of them. Perfect third party. He did not have himself covered up. Very important that you have yourself covered up. I'm going to go ahead and ramp rush right here for easy high ground. Go to waterfall down so I don't get shot out. About 30 seconds into the fight with the other guy, I finally get him low enough that I feel confident with fighting him now. I see him pop two shots for the easy. Okay. When it comes to end game, the main important thing is you want to be able to know where your position is. Here you will see that I have a perfect rotation to the mountain just above Misty Meadows. Having this position right here will guarantee me natural high ground. After I rotated to the high ground, I have to now come to the circle. But I hear somebody pushing up on me, so I go ahead, pop a couple shots, miss them both. But that's okay, because with my perfect shot in aiming, we easily take that down. And after I finish the one guy off, I now rotate to the mountain, which gives me the natural high ground. It's a 1v1 right now, and I notice that the other guy drops down to the dam. I can either A, waterfall down right here, or B, I can take the easy route 
save mats and just jump into the water. After going through the little water spout, I now have the natural high ground on this guy. This is looking very much into my favor, but I make one fatal mistake. I let my eyes off of him. This makes him be able to push up on me because I can't hear the builds due to the deafening noise of the water. Desperate for high ground, I try and build up here but catch myself on that stair. This is very unfortunate for me because now I have to try and build down and connect all the way back up just to box up. He's going to shoot me out however, which will then lead me to my fatal. The last mistake I made in that clip was I let my eyes off him. Had I kept my eyes on him, I would have been able to know that he was pushing up. The Fortnite game is very buggy with its audio, which is why I couldn't hear him build up, which is very unfortunate for me. I don't blame Fortnite for the mistakes I made, but I try and learn from the mistakes that I've made to make myself better the next time I go into it. If you guys enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and see you later.